so guys now we are supposed to find the resistance between point B and D which is nothing but the face diagonal or you can say two points lying on the face diagonal of the cube so definitely for point B and D we need to connect a circuit or a battery to it so we get connect a battery to point B and D like this now we call this battery of EMF E so definitely the current I starts from here as I which from point D will split into three parts now here we need to understand a very important phenomena and that is symmetry so how does the symmetry take part in this particular situation if you check carefully we can say D and B are the two terminals about which we need to decide the symmetry and the symmetry should be such that point B should be on one side and point D should be on the other side and such that the distribution is equal for both the parts so the best way we can go for is to take a plane if you can see to take a plane C G F H if you understand if I cut this cube like this in this plane then I get the two pyramidal structure of the shape or of the name F G D E with C H as the vertical side or F G A B as the B A, A B C H as the horizontal side so that becomes a two pyramidal structure which are connected to each other as per an inclined plane and that plane is C G F H now in now with the inclined plane C G F H we can say that since this entire part is cut like this I can say the D and G the distribution over here and over here is going to be equal such that it again merges at point B that means the current which will flow in the part DG and in the part DC should be equal that means let's assume it to be X and X now when this current is going to be the same I can say the point G and point C will be at same potential so G and C are equipotential now definitely that also means that since C G F H the entire plane is taken into consideration out of which these two points C and G are equipotential so we can say the point F and H are also equipotential so we can say F and H are equipotential and that means the current in this two branch will also be equal now what that value will be we will come into that part but I can say if the x and x current is going to this definitely by mirror image if the x is passing through from d to g g to b the, x should also, the current should also be x similarly if the current from d to c passes as x c to b by mirror image should also be x now if I say this is the remaining current let's call it as y and definitely the mirror image of DE is AB and so that will also have a current y but in the opposite direction as it should go towards the battery so now here I can say at point E the current which is received from D 
will split into two equal half y by 2 and y by 2 and those two current over here will again pass as the same value y by 2 and y by 2 because again the part EF is a mirror image of part AF and the part EH is the mirror image of part AH. So the current has to be same in the mirror image and as you can see y by 2 and y by 2 merges to give us y again. So now if you concentrate in this part you get no current in the part GF as well as in the part CH. So the current for G2F or F2G and the current between C and H is zero. So no current flow through that part. Now definitely we need to solve this to get the value of equivalent resistance for which definitely we need the value of X and Y in terms of I. So now if we try to get that value we can apply first KVL along one of the loop from the cube itself. So let's take the loop as D E F G D. I repeat D E F G D, which is the upper face of the cube. In that, if I apply the KVL from D to E, we are going in the direction of current. So it is going to be minus Y into the resistance. Y is the amount of current flowing in that branch. From E to F, we are again going in the direction of current. So that will be minus Y by 2 into R, the resistance between EF. Then while going from F to G, there is no current. So there is no potential drop. And similarly now, G to D, we are going in the opposite direction of current. So it is going to be the addition or positive effect x into r and that total will be equal to 0. Now that means we can say the r can be cancelled throughout as they are equal. So x will be equal to this goes over here becomes positive y by 2 also goes over here becomes positive that gives us x as 3 y by 2. We already got the relation between x and y. Now we need to have a relation with x or y with i, the total current i. Correct? And for that we need to apply something called as Kirchhoff's current law at point D. Where the incoming current is i, the outgoing current is x, x and y. So I can say by applying KCL at point D, we get the equation as I is equal to X plus X plus Y, which is 2X plus Y. Now definitely we can substitute Y as 2X by 3. I repeat, Y as 2X by 3 over here. We get it as 2x plus 2x by 3. And so I will be equal to 6 plus 2, 8x by 3. And so we can say definitely that x is 3i by 8. Now we have got a relation between x and i. So now it's time to apply Kirchhoff's voltage law considering the battery and that means we are going to apply KVL for loop D C B D. I repeat D C B D via the battery. If we do that for loop D C B D from D to C, we are going in the direction of current. So it will be minus XR. From C to B, we are again going in the direction of current. 
so it will be minus xr and for battery we are going from the negative terminal to the positive terminal so it will be positive e and the total will be definitely zero so we can say e will be equal to this both goes on the other side and adds to form 2xr now we can put x as 3i by 8 that will be 2 times 3i r by 8 which is 3i r by 4 now if you understand we can consider guys the entire circuit as r equivalent or rbd which is the equivalent resistance between point b and d so can i say if I redraw this diagram, something like this. This will be the current. This will be the EMF. And this will be the resistance BD. And so can I say from the diagram over here, E is going to be I times RBD. And so I can put this value over here in place of E. And when I do that, I get cancelled. And finally we get the resistance of BD as 3R by 4. And that is your final answer. So the resistance between the two points on the face diagonal of a cube is 3R by 4. Thank you.